Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is the my phone clinic. This is a um, Mokia CA 1410. Um, it's having a um, mouthpiece issue on this battery, on this um, mouthpiece connector. Rather, can you see the mounted mouthpiece that was there? We've removed the mounted mouthpiece that was there, so we changed it to a normal mouthpiece. Still, yet the mouthpiece wasn't working. And if we check our testimeter, these legs are working, but we've changed several mouthpieces and it's not still working. I think it's a general problem. I've done like five of them, which I have to, at times, I'll have to reheat this CPU before it works. And at times, after after eating the CPU up and it's not still working, what I'll do, I'll remove it completely and reboil and mount it back and it start working. So at times, the last video I did, the last video I did, um, there is a there is a cap here that was that was bridging. So if you go to the previous video I did on this same phone, you see that I had to remove the cap that is here before the mouthpiece start working. So this one now is not short and is reading fine and is not still working. So what I'll be doing now is okay. I'll have to test for you guys to see that this. These pins, these connectors for the mouthpiece are reading on the testimeter, but it's not still working. I've tested it. You can see I just removed the shield. You can see I just removed the shield. So I'm about to uh, eat the CPU up, then I will test. And if it's not working, I'll have to remove it and um, reboil and test. So that is what we'll be doing on this video. So let's let us um, test the pins of the mouthpiece with our testimeter. So it's on buzzer mode. Then my positive probe of my testimeter will be on the ground and uh, my negative probe will be on the pins. You can see it's reading it's reading in thousands which shows that these connectors are on the CPU. Do you get which shows is on a separate so i've replaced several mouthpiece on this port same thing is not still working so what i'll be doing now i have to eat up the cpu so when eating the cpu you have to you have to know the techniques and the techniques is your hand must not be stable in one spot and your temperature should be 359 degrees Celsius, that's your temperature. So your airflow will be 40%. 40% airflow, and your ten te temperature will be 359 degrees Celsius. So let's eat the CPU up. So one of the reasons why we we are eating up uh, this CPU is because of we've seen problem like this and uh, some of the problem on this particular phone once you eat up the ic some of them will start working the mouthpiece will start working and if after eating after after eating up the cpu and it's not still working well most time we normally remove the i the cpu and uh, reboot then mount it back and the mount will start working so in this kind of case we'll have to um eat the cpu up and see if it's going to work if if it's not working so we have to remove we have to amount the cpu and reboot so let's wait for it to get cool so sorry guys um, i forgot to to tell you guys that one of the major reasons why we eat up CPU is because of we believe that the underneath boss of the CPU, some of them might be broken. So we eat it up for those boss to reform and um, connect to well back to the board. That is one of the major reasons why we eat up CPU or um, ICs. And again, there might be activities underneath the um, IC, that is the balls. 
because when eating of the IC, you you can't see what is going on underneath the IC. So there might be error like um, balls joining together when eating up when eating of the IC. So at times at times we might be unlucky. So after after eating of the IC and we insert our battery, the phone might not come up. So you have to um, remove the um, the CPU and um, the ball. So let's test. Let's let's test. Let's know if it's going to work. So I'm trying to call the number now. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you, hear you can hear me? Yes. Put it on loudspeaker. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. So it's working now. The mouthpiece is working. So guys, um, if you love this video, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. This is the Combat Film Clinic.